In this video, I'm going to take you around the city of Fairfax, Virginia on the map. That way you can get a good idea of the orientation and proximity to Washington, D.C. And if you check out my other video on the full city of Fairfax blog, then this video will help to put that previous video into context. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to check out that video as well. And we're going to start right now. <music> Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, then subscribe below and tap the notification button so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Northern Virginia. My name is Renee Menzel with the Platinum Group Real Estate Team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who are looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and I absolutely love to help them. Whether you are looking to move in 9 or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. All of my contact information is included in the description below. I would absolutely love to help you make your move to Northern Virginia. So let's start and jump right into my computer and take a look at the city of Fairfax, Virginia. All right, so here we are. We're looking at the city of Fairfax and it is within the red dotted line. All right, so let me zoom out so then we can see the proximity to Washington, DC. So right now, when I'm recording this video, it is 535, so this is prime rush hour. So it'll take you around 48 minutes, which is 21.9 miles. Keep in mind, this is rush hour, so this is going to be the absolute worst time to get in and out of Fairfax. Now let's go to the Ronald Reagan Airport. The Ronald Reagan Airport from the City of Fairfax Library, which is in the heart of the City of Fairfax, it is 37 minutes or 19.8 miles. Now keep in mind, again, this is 5.38 p.m. rush hour traffic. This is when the streets are going to be the most condensed. And now let's take a look and see how long it will take you to get to the Dulles International Airport. And that will take you around 22 minutes, and that is 16.7 miles. So the biggest pro of living in the city of Fairfax, Virginia, is that you are in the heart of Northern Virginia. I will scroll out so you can see. Everything that you need to do, you're equally distant between. If you want more of an urban lifestyle that Arlington or Washington, D.C. has to offer, let's say you enjoy going out to dinner at restaurants in that kind of capacity, then you're not too far from Arlington or Washington, D.C. Or if you love going out to wineries in Western Loudoun, you are in the middle of Northern Virginia, like I said. So you can have best of both worlds and you're right in the middle. So that is great. And you are also close to major shopping at Tyson's Galleria or Tyson's Corner Mall, which has every type of big department store that you would want. And additionally, Tyson's Galleria is a beautiful luxury mall. You, you feel like you're at Rodeo Drive, it's gorgeous. 70% of residents own their home, which makes it conducive to having a strong sense of community. Around each month, the city hosts a different community event or a festival. There's a Chocolate Lovers Festival in February and then in the summertime they have Rock the Block, a jazz festival. They also have movies under the stars throughout the summertime. So depending on what you're into, there's always going to be something for you to offer. And like I said, it is quite small. So that way you do get a strong sense of community and you get to know your fellow residents and neighbors. Now the population of Fairfax is 24th. Whoa. <laughs> thousand people. Okay, and the median home price is $712,000. And what I love most about the city of Fairfax is the historic downtown, and we'll zoom into it. And the perimeter of the historic downtown is within the red dotted line. And it's gorgeous. If you've seen my Fairfax vlog, then you will be able to see all of the cute little shops and restaurants and it's highly walkable. The streets are lined with red bricks. It really just has that quintessential downtown feel to it. Highly walkable and it's landscaped beautifully. And the city definitely takes a lot of pride in maintaining the cleanliness of the city, which is something that I highly value coming from the Northeast where the city's <laughs> that's just not something you can say about them up there. Love them, but that's just not something you can say. 
So I'm going to zoom in right here. As you can see, there's the city of Fairfax Regional Library and it's right across from Old Town Square. So whether you have kids or you're an adult, it could make for a perfect day of going back and forth between the library and the park or renting a book and then reading it in the park and the park itself. It's hard to see on Google Maps, obviously, but it's beautiful landscaping, a lot of flowers and a lot of places to sit and also their shaded areas as well, which is really nice. And then as you can see, there are a lot of restaurants. Sisters Thai is one of my favorite Thai restaurants in Northern Virginia. Big Lou Coffee and Sandwiches is another great place as well. The coffee is great and so are the chai tea lattes if that's more of your thing. And then we have Ham Rocks. It's an American restaurant and they have a porch. So for the more temperate months, you can eat outside and it's family owns you. So you have that feeling of really knowing the people that own the restaurant. It's not like commercialized at all. And then right outside of the little downtown, there's major, I wouldn't say major shopping, but there's TJ Maxx, Ace Hardware, Walgreens, kebabs, nail, a place to get your nails done. This is more of a standard shopping complex, whereas the rest of Old Town Fairfax definitely has that small town feel to it. And then in the western part of the city of Fairfax, you have Daniel Run Park. Now this park has a stream, as you can see, going through it, and it's also dog friendly as well. And there are hiking trails and playgrounds to take the children. And if ice skating or hockey is your thing, there's the Fairfax Ice Arena. You have gymnastics as well. McDonald's, PetSmart, Trader Joe's, Home Goods. Fairfax Swimming Pool. Providence Park. And then right outside the city borders, there's a Walmart Super Center. And then all along Fairfax Boulevard, there are going to be major shopping centers for everything that you would need, whether it is food or retail or home supplies or little restaurants. Lots of little strip malls located along Fairfax Boulevard as long as well as a lot of car dealerships and hotels, which is good if you have people coming down to visit you and maybe you don't have enough space for them or you don't want them to be able to stay at your house. And we have the high school. Oh, no. Do we have the high school? Yep, we have the high school. Chick-fil-A, Home Depot. So you can see this tiny city packs a punch. There's a lot to do within the city of Fairfax. So now let's jump into some homes that are currently on the market or under contract. So this home is listed at $828,000. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and it was recently remodeled. Nice bright kitchen, crisp and clean, very modern looking. And it has 2,430 square feet, which puts it at $340.74 per square foot. Now this is the lower level and there's a bar right there. Nice new floors, a fireplace, and entertain the fireplace, which is nice. An updated and sleek bathroom, stand in shower, a laundry room, another stand in shower, 
Everything seems so crisp and clean. Bathtub, this would be the third bathroom. So to the fireplace, I love a clean, bright fireplace. I think it's modern, but also very homey as well. An outdoor porch. A garage. Nice area where you can entertain. The backyard. Okay, so now let's switch gears to the next property. Now this is a condo. It is under contract currently for $599,000. It is two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Nice bright clean kitchen, again, very updated looking. And it is 1,615 square feet, which puts it at $370.90 per square foot. And it was built in 2017. I like the open floor concept. Oh, I'll scroll back. The balcony is really nice. Double sinks for the primary bathroom. Very useful. Nice big stand in shower. Second bathroom with a tub. In unit washer and dryer, always useful with nice racks above to help you keep organized. Ooh, nice walk in closet. Balcony, have some coffee or tea, get some sunshine. And I've been outside of this unit before. And what's nice is there's a courtyard out front where I don't know why they didn't take pictures of it, but it's also nicely landscaped. And if you want to get some fresh air and go for a little walk, there's a lot of benches too. It's a really nice condo and townhome development located right, I would say in between the historic downtown Fairfax, as well as Fairfax Boulevard. So then you get the best of both worlds. If you want to do some small town shopping, you can do that. Or if you need major retail shopping or not too far from Fairfax Boulevard. So in the recording of this video, there are 23 homes currently coming soon and actively listed on the market in Fairfax City. The average days per market is 21. The average price per square foot is $393. And like I said before, the median price for a home is $712,000. And that's going back for the last year of sales not what's currently on the market. So if you wanted to currently get into this market, you can get a home for $189,000, which is a condo, or the maximum home price currently on the market in the city of Fairfax is right under $2 million, and that's at 1.999. So like I said before, what is great about the city of Fairfax is that it is centrally located within Northern Virginia. So if you want some of the urban amenities that Arlington and Washington DC offers, then you're not too far. Or if you want to go out to the wineries that are beautiful in Western Loudoun, let's say past Leesburg and Lovettsville in this region, it's a gorgeous area. So you're a little bit closer to Arlington, but because of the traffic, once you go out West, it's not going to be as condensed. You're about the same amount of time and one last thing I don't want to forget, you're not too far from the Inova Fairfax Medical Campus. It's one of the best hospitals in the region. And in fact, it's rated number eight in the entire country for OBGYN services. So if you're thinking of having a family down here, it's a great hospital to deliver your baby. So let me zoom back into the historic downtown. And I just want to make a note of this. When you walk around this historic downtown, even if you end up moving to another town or if you make if you end up living in the city of Fairfax and you spend a lot of time in the downtown, you are probably going to run into people that you know that don't live within the city of Fairfax. And that's a great thing. It definitely provides that small town feel while also being in close proximity to major urban areas such as Arlington and Washington, D.C. So you can get the best of both worlds. So that should give you an understanding of the city of Fairfax. 
It is legally a city but offers residents a suburban way of life. Like I said earlier, it is centrally located within Northern Virginia. It is at the heart of everything that you would want to do in Northern BI. So if you're looking to move in 90 or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. All of my contact information is included in the description below. I would absolutely love to help you make your move to Northern Virginia. And with that, I hope to see you around town. Take care. Bye.